Hey, what's going on, Players Lounge? Aaron Murray here, and big shout out to Agora Vintage for letting us use their spot right here in downtown Athens. So next time you need a spot for game day, you know the place to go. You can get to the downtown bars, the restaurants, easy walk to the stadium. Pretty cool backdrop for our show tonight with Makai Muse joined us. The the, the, the MVP of the G-Day spring game. Four catches, 91 yards. We also have a 99-yard kickoff return as well. Drinks were on you after G-Day, correct? <laughs> right? The boys partied up on your tab? On my tab? Uh, not too much. I didn't really have a tab that night. I wish I did, though. <laughs> yeah, listen. When you perform like that, your drinks are getting paid for you. So yeah. hopefully you had a good time. But, um, man, what an awesome, awesome spring game. You know, you looked electric. Not only the kickoff return, but I love yeah. that little skinny post first cover two. You're able to catch it. Guy fell down, and then you took it right up the sidelines for a big play. Just talk about the whole game in general, man. Like, how were you feeling waking up and, and break the whole day down? Uh, like, my whole process, like, the night before, I wanted to get well rested because I was like, this is an important game for me because I feel like I didn't really have a chance to, like, prove myself or, like, I feel like I haven't really had much opportunities in the game. So, like, I took this game very seriously and um, just did my normal routines, just warmed up. For the game and once the game started i it just it felt natural just honestly. you just black out and go <laughs> yeah, baby just what, go. what goes through receivers i, I want to show you kick off first because i feel like it's scary as hell i'm not yeah. gonna lie kick like, i would never want to do a kickoff return or a punt return i like, feel like punt returns worse i feel like punt returns worse okay so kickoff return okay so for a kickoff return it's mainly like i feel like kickoff return you just gotta hit it yeah just hit the hole and go now, punt return is another game because you're looking at the ball while people are running full speed at yeah. you, trying to determine if you need to fair catch or if you have space to yeah. take off with the ball. So I feel like punt return is a different game from kick return. Right, let me play the scenario out, man. Kick off return, you catch it, goal line, you decide to go. But you see, like, two dudes get free somehow. Like, what, 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 what's going through the mind at that point? <laughs> at that point, you, you just got to get what you can if they're both in the hole of where the return is going. You just got to get what you can get. I'm just not physical, dude. I don't, I don't like contact. I'm going to go to that. Like, the thought of running directly into people that yeah. are at 40 yards head start coming at you yeah. uh, just does not sound fun. Same thing with punt return. Like, I'd be fair catching every single damn ball. No chance. I'm, I'm the guy catching it safe. We're good. Um, I want to go to the, 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 the pass I talked about, though. Yeah. You know, a great throw. Really yeah. threaded in there. Yeah, I mean, it was, like, I mean, it was, it was a did. tight window. Um, Talk about your route versus that coverage and break it down for us from, from a receiver standpoint. So basically it's like a seam read. So if it's too high, you want to attack the linebacker and uh, snap it off across yeah. his face. But he was underneath me, so I just snapped it down and tried to spin back towards the ball as much as I can, flatten it down, gun it through a good ball. And at that point it was a two minute, so I knew I had to get towards the sideline yeah. some way. So I originally wanted to go back to the other side, but it seemed like I wasn't get to the sideline, so I just cut all <laughs> across the field. <laughs> Just run, baby, run. To my instincts, yep, and just. What, what's, what is the speed? Uh, four, 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 five, guy. Four, 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 five, or four, four, five? Four, 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 five, guy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's blazing. I, you feel, I feel like you're a guy that I would love to use everywhere, like backfield, wildcat quarterback. You know, give you like a, a bubble. Obviously, we can see you run routes too. Like, how diverse is your game and comfort level in the playbook to kind of get moved around yeah, possibly? Yeah, I feel like now that I've been in offense for around, this would be my third season coming yeah. up, so I feel like I'm well diverse. Like, I'm understanding why things are happening now instead of just knowing my route on certain plays. I'm knowing other people's routes. I'm knowing uh, the running backs doing the protection, stuff like that, IDs. We're learning IDs at receiver yeah. and why, why we need to block certain people based off the alignment. So I feel like I'm comfortable now, and I feel like I could – change different positions and be able to help the team wherever. Hey, Bobo, come on, baby. Utility <laughs> bag, move him around, have some fun. Speaking of my boy, Bobo, what's he been like at, as, as OC? He's been I'll awesome. give you some stories, so don't don't hold back now. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll vouch for you here. But Nah, he's been awesome so far. I love Bobo. Bobo calls me Waffle House, actually. Does he really? <laughs> he called me Waffle House. He said I'm always open, so me and Bobo have a really good connection, and I love him. When did that, when did that nickname start? Started last year, really like on um, scout team. Yeah. I was a scout team guy for the last two years, just grinding it out. I got hurt my at the end of my freshman year. I had tore my labrum, so I had yeah. to get that repaired. And then I came back during fall camp, and I feel like I was already behind. So yeah. the whole last season, I was just working on scout team. Though you're still getting better on scout team, you're yeah. still working your craft, working routes. I feel like we have a good program to develop guys on scout team. So 
Waffle House, <laughs> always open. That's, <laughs> hey, if I'm a receiver, that's the kind of nickname I want right there. Uh, I wanna, since you, you brought the whole scout team thing, just how good was the defense last year? And then you see all the DBs back this year. How good can this defense be this year? Yeah, I think, I think the defense can, based upon what we've done the past two years, I think we're on track yeah. about the same. Our defense has been really good. Uh, Kirby's a mastermind on yeah. defense, and we'll be really good. Tell about what's, what's the, give us a breakdown. What, what makes, you know, like Malachi in the slot when he comes down? What makes him so good as a freshman? I feel like he's so versatile, and you know, I feel like it's hard for freshmen to understand the game, and I feel like he was quick to pick up on it. Yeah, and that made him so versatile and be able to move around different places and just be able to plug and play. Yeah, as a freshman, it's really hard to do. I mean, it's it's extremely, extremely hard to do. Yeah. Well, yeah, especially with all that, that that veteran leadership with Chris, and you got yeah. Keeley on that side too, Javon balling out, Tyke. I mean, it's yeah. it's like turning D D <laughs> for goodness sakes. So I feel bad for you guys, but I mean, you guys are loaded at receiver this year. If I can stay healthy, I mean, it could be one of the better you know, receiving crews we've seen in, in Athens in a long time. How have the new guys adjusted to, to being a part of this, and, and how good can this crew be if they do stay healthy? Yeah, the new guys have adjusted pretty well. Yeah. They've, been, they've been doing their thing. The new guys are looking pretty good. So everyone's looking good. Everyone's been adjusting. I feel like our crew this year could be really explosive, really high yeah. energy. Yeah. We just got to stay healthy, like you yeah. said. Yeah. Dangerous. And you got Brock there too. Brock Have you learned anything from him? I know he's a different position, but he he's a glorified receiver. So like what does he do so well? Brock, I feel like what he does well is his mental strain. Yeah. I feel like he could mentally just lock in onto something better than other people. Like when he's tired, he could push through yeah. better than other people. And I, I really feel like, yeah, like when I see him like do dead tired and he's still out there making plays, I'm like, yeah, I need to get my mental to where that is to be able yeah. to do that. Dude, he's – I love the tight end position. I yeah. love receivers, but I love the tight end position. Yeah. What you guys do with him is some of the stuff you see in the NFL, for goodness sake. Yeah. So uh, I want to I get to you real quick before we let you go. Um, just give us your history, man. Like you back in high school, I know you went through some adversity with some injuries. Yeah. Kind of break down kind of some of your trials and in, in, in that and, and kind of how it shaped you now and brought you here to Georgia. Yeah. So basically in high school, like my sophomore and junior year, I got hurt. So I played five games total in two years. So uh, my sophomore year, I tore my hamstring. My junior year, I broke my collarbone. And then by the time it was my senior season, it was 2021, it was COVID. Yeah. So I didn't have much going into the table, onto the table. So I just trained that whole off season, getting ready for my senior season. I had a big senior season, had about like 1,100 yards. I was leading Georgia at one yeah. point in, in the um, state for receiving yards. But then after that, like, because it was COVID, like I did have some mid-major offers, some smaller school offers, but most of them got taken away because they had guys coming back because of COVID. Yeah. So then I was pretty much left with nothing. Um, I had a couple of D2s, yeah. I had a couple of D2s, but the, the way the money was, they weren't offering full. So it was just yeah. like, Georgia was honestly my cheapest option. And I yeah. was like, well, if this is the cheapest and the amenities are the best, yeah. I guess I might as well. Is it a dream <laughs> school? Like, yeah, this it's is a dream you school. Go. Yeah, nice. it's a dream school for me since I was young, so. Good for you, man. Good for grinding through yeah. it. Yeah. What would it be, I mean, because you're obviously, it's, it's weird with the whole transfer portal thing. Yeah. High school guys, but you know, if, if that day did come, you know, what would that be like if, if you get that announcement from Kirby? What do you mean, like a transfer portal? Or scholarship? scholarship? Yeah, yeah I'll, I would love that. I mean, I feel like as a walk-on, that's ultimately your goal. Yeah. Um, that's still my goal. Still grind it out. I mean, I'm gonna grind it out regardless yeah. if that's the case or not. Yeah. But that's ultimately. Hey, goal. Waffle House, you keep getting open. You're, you're <laughs> gonna earn that scholarship. That you got to keep you on the field. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, I keep seeing all these pictures of the rings. Yeah. You got the rings. What's the favorite one? I think the back to back. Now the the uh, Peach Bowl one, the Chick Fil A Peach Bowl yeah. one, is pretty nice too. Yeah. But I like I like the back. What's the one that's black? Yeah, that's the Chick Fil A. One. Okay, that's a yeah. that one's that one's nice, but I think I like the back to back because just how much it like it means and all the work we put in for yeah. that just to be able to go back to back, it's pretty rare. Well, guys don't do that. Well, let's go back to back to back. <laughs> First time since like the '30s, so we can make that happen. Uh, Makai News joining us, man. Appreciate you. Good luck. Congratulations you on the so great much. spring game, and uh, we'll definitely get you back. Thanks. Waffle House. <laughs>